Hello everyone, let's solve problem 5, convert array into zigzag fashion. Let's understand the problem statement. You will be given an array and the sort property. You need to rearrange the elements based on sort property. The sort property is elements at index 0 should be less than element at index 1. Element at index 1 must be greater than element at index 2 and element at index 2 must be less than element at index 3 and element at index 3 must be greater than element at index 4 plus and so on. If you closely observe right, if the element is at index even index, it should be less than next index value. If the element is at odd index, it must be greater than next index value. So this is a sort property. So let's solve this. We start from index 0 as it is even index current element must be less than next element which is not so swap it then move on to next index now as it is odd index current element must be greater than next element but which is not so swap it now move on to index 2 now it is even index now the current element is already less than next element so no swap required then now you are at index 3 which is odd index now the current element is already greater than next element so no swap now we are at even index and the current element is less not less than next element so swap it so let's move on to the next index now we are at odd index the current element is already greater than next element so there is no swap so move on to n minus 1 index that's it. Now our start index is already reached end of the array. That's it. So we are done with the swapping. So the time complexity here is linear because we are traversing from 0 to n minus 1 and the space complexity is constant because we are not using any additional space. We are just making use of a in place algorithm to sort to swap the elements. That's it. Let's move on to the solution. Before moving on to the solution, if you really like the uh, explanation, please click on like button and share your thoughts through comments for higher visibility. So, okay, so we start from index 0. So as it is even index, so that I'll just make a flag even index as true. So then as long as my index is less than n minus 1 because we are comparing with the next element so that uh, it should be less than n minus 1 so now i'll check if the current index is even index then what i'll do i'll see whenever it is even index i need a swap whenever my current element is greater than next element so in even index the current element must be less than next element in case my current element is greater than next element, then I need a swap, so just swap it. Similarly, if it is not even index, it comes to the else block, so it means it is odd index. In this case, the current element must be greater than next element. In case if my current element is less than next element, it means we need to swap. That's it. So we are done with it. Now, once we are done with the swapping, then uh, we will just uh, make a even index as odd index. So just uh, negotiate this. So that's it. So it will take care of whether the current element is even index or odd index. Then just increment the index. Similarly, let me write the swap method. So we have a swap. which is going to take array int left int right so i'll just hold that left value into 10 and i will assign the left equal to right then i'll just say right equal 10 that's it so we are done with the solution so let's compile So I just missed comma here. So let me give a comma. Let's compile. Then submit. 
so you can also find the problem link in the description so please uh, please open the problem submit your solution enjoy the day thanks for watching please do subscribe and share it